Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's Mental Stimulus Update, we have two topics. One is the troop withdrawal from Af Afghanistan, and the other one is the c current COVID cases. So let's start off with the easier one. How's that? The current COVID cases. We'll go, I have eight states for you, and well, I actually have eight listings for you. One of them is actually the total of the United States, and then we also have Wyoming. Let's see here. I'm trying to do the smallest, the biggest. So we got Wyoming, Utah, whoops, sorry, Wyoming, Nebraska, Utah, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, California. But starting off with the total of the United States. So as you can see, as I'll show you from the, the from the pop up I put in, that the total of the United States is 280 thousand new cases. And if you look below there, you can see our, the seven day rolling average. It's not that bad. And then for the next one, we actually have Nebraska. Nebraska actually has 857 new cases. They're actually doing pretty good. I'm surprised. And then we also have Wyoming at 871 new cases. Then we jump all the way up to my home state, Utah, with 100 and, sorry, 1,686 new cases. And then we, we go up the ladder even more. We go to Iowa, that has 3,643 new cases. Then we jump up to Indiana, which has 7, 000, sorry, 4,725 new cases. <laughs> then we jump up to Illinois, which has 5,146 new cases. And then we jump into Cali, which is, holy crap, Cali got hit hard. They're like 22,732 new cases. That is terrible for Cali. They're jumping up. I, I I know Texas is pretty bad too. I sorry, I don't actually have a stat for Texas. I thought I did, but I know they're in like the nineteen thousands as well. So they're not doing as well that good either. But why I pulled most of these states up is because I actually know people in Indiana. I know people in Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois, California. Of course, I'm in Utah. And Wyoming is just because. Just a, just a random state, just a healthy, you know? <laughs> but now, let's talk about the current withdrawal from Afghanistan. It's a tricky topic. People are pissed off at Biden because he left our hardware there and took our troops. But what people don't realize is, is Trump is the one who actually negotiated the whole withdrawal from the Afghanistan. And Biden was just following his lead. So Trump is the one who said, pull our troops out, take the hardware out second. And that was, already put, that was already passed by Trump when he was president. So Biden was just following Trump's plan. I don't think he has a power to, to supersede it without the authorization of the Senate and with most of the, the 50 of them being Republican. That wouldn't really work that well, so I guess he had to, he had to follow it. And like I said, I mean, they, they can't do reconciliation on it. Because they only have one more use of that one. Well, when they get back from their vacation sometime next month, which would be nice. Huh. You get paid for another almost more than a month long vacation for the whole Senate and the House, Repub uh, House of Representatives. Aren't we so nice? We're just such fucking great taxpayers, right? <laughs> but like I said, I mean, on the withdrawal, that was Trump. Biden just followed his lead. So don't be mad at Biden for actually leaving our hardware there. Because if you watch videos about them flying the choppers, you see people actually flying out of the choppers as they fly them. So they're, they're, they're learning, but when it comes right down to it, do they have all the necessary resources to actually maintain the hardware to keep it running? Because this actually was the first time that we left hardware in another country and withdrew our troops. If you remember Russia, they did that in Russia too. They withdrew our troops and left our hardware there for Russia to have. So it's not the first time, and I'm guaranteed it's not going to be the last time. So we just have to sit back and deal with it because whether it's Democrat or Republican, that's the plan that they always stick to. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast again to you when I get another chance. Until then, have a great evening. Bye. <music>